I do not have the right surrounding to speak or practice this language. Are you someone who uses this statement to justify your lack of English? Trust me, this is just an excuse. And yes, I am being blunt. It is an excuse that we give to ourselves just to feel pity, just to be in the comfort zone. And I'm challenging you on this thing. Let me share an instance from my life. I still remember being an impoverished kid. I had no access to all the resources that kids of my age had. I did not have proper education. I used to live in a slum. So of course, I did not have anyone with whom I can speak English. We simply had our genuine normal language. We used to use Hindi and sometimes even that Desi village rural Hindi. And I had no access to any such things which could help me to speak English. But somehow that deep desire, that burning desire kept me going on. And I remember when I had no surrounding, what I used to do is to take an A4 sheet that white color A4 sheet and on regular basis I used to write five new words. I could read any book or newspaper, pick up the five words and then write down all the five words in that A4 sheet. After that I used to stick the sheet onto the wall and I remember the entire walls of my small 10 by 20 little room was filled with this, these papers, I was completely, I surrounded myself completely with these A4 sheets and everywhere I would see, I could simply see the phrases, idioms, collocations, vocabularies and trust me, when I had no surroundings, I created my surroundings but I did not use it as an excuse and it genuinely helped me a lot. It immensely helped me to improve my English. I. Remember, I used to do one more trick which all of you can do is to use a chart paper which people also call vision board nowadays and on that chart paper, I would write all the possible or good things that would happen to me if I speak this language. For example, I can have respect, I can make money, I can be in a good position, I can get a job, I can get handsome salary which will help me to support my family. Now all of these positive driven results every single day inspired me because I kept on looking into them and it really pushed me when I was going through the toughest lowest moments of my life. There were times when I used to feel that this language is not for me as I had no such background. I was a Hindi medium student with no exposure to English at all. I had no friends, no teacher or even not access to the internet or TV connection where I can watch Hollywood movies. But still I kept on going and number one reason could be of course the declaration or the positive thoughts or the positive lines that I wrote, the positive things that could happen to me if I learn this language. I did one more thing which is my third step that you can also use is that you can write positive sentences about yourself in present tense. So you can take again a chart paper and over there you can write, I am a good speaker. I am a confident speaker. I am getting acknowledgement by people. I am getting cherished and I am getting promotions because of my communication skills. People love to learn from me. People love to communicate from me. I can deliver effective presentations to my client. My boss loves me. I feel empowered. I feel that I can or I am on the top of the world. Now, whenever you write these positive quotes and put it, it definitely helps you a lot because it improves your visualization. It improves or it helps the right part of your brain to cultivate, which is responsible for confidence and it can train you in the best way possible. So if you complain that you do not have the right surrounding, trust me, stop doing it today onwards. Create your surrounding. Do not get find excuses. They, after the advent of internet, now you have access to the entire world. You can even access 
to the best educators through online medium which was not possible earlier you can sit comfortably at your home and take classes the way we do at english times so now stop whining criticizing complaining and start taking charge of your life do not always blame your situations for your miseries always take charge and trust me that will help you to grow and improve your communication skills and as the saying goes do not go through your problems grow through your problems so i am expecting all of my viewers to grow through their problems instead of going through i believe this video has somehow connected and made sense to you if it is then please consider putting your thoughts in the comment section i would love to learn about your point of views and if you liked the content do consider subscribing the video because it will help me to inspire you and help you becoming a great communicator till then take care stay awesome stay productive keep learning keep growing god bless you